Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logic. Today we'll be going to solve the longest palindromic substring problem. This is a lead code medium and the number for this is 5. So the problem requires us to find the longest palindromic substring within a given string. A simple approach to check uh, this will be that you generate all the possible uh, substring with the given string and determine if it is a palindrome or not. However, this is a brute force approach and may result in a complexity of n raised to the power 3, which is highly inefficient. So therefore, a more efficient approach is to use dynamic programming, which allows us to optimize the solution to n, n, n square. The key idea to recognize the palindrome uh, is that it reads same as um, backward and forward. So we can uh, efficiently identify palindrome by expanding around the center we start with a single character and uh, as as a center and we expand it on the both sides keeping the triangle of uh, longest palindromic found in this way we can uh, find the maximum for each element and we can return it so if we talk about an example suppose we have an example of b a b a d so so, suppose you start by this so you can only expand on the right hand side and not on the left hand side so the longest palindromic substring will be of one size here suppose you are on a so you expand once on the left and on the right so this is a uh, palindromic substring so this becomes uh, length equal to 3 now you cannot expand more than that so uh, the maximum length for A as a center will be 3 then you come to this B and uh, for this B you can expand once on both sides then you will have AB as substring but if you try to expand more then B is not equal to D which means substring is not a palindrome that's why the maximum length substring can be uh, of length 3 which is either it can be BAB or it can be ABA so in this way we can definitely approach to end solution. Similarly in this question also we can start by keeping every so the intuition is what take an element expand on both the sides and try to check if it is a palindrome then uh, count the number of uh, characters in that store it and keep the starting index. So now you will have the starting index and you have the number of characters to be uh, printed. So you can give the stop string in that format. So let's start with the solution. <clears throat> so we have to initialize first initialize two variable. First is the max length and is the low. Low will be used to keep the starting index of the uh, substring and the max length will be giving the max length of the substring. So using these two variables we can uh, actually print the substring. Like you can start from the low and uh, till the low plus max length that will be the substring which will be of maximum length. So then we can take something as a care array to convert the s to care array this will help us in accessing the strings if length is less than 2 we will simply turn s for this is for the cases that if s is equal to null or if that is actually not possible because the cut rate are from 1 to 1000 of the length so if single character is given though we will return the single character as it is. Then we will iterate uh, through each array, each element in the array and we will expand on the both sides of the array. So for int i equal to 0, i less than input dot length i plus plus. So we are iterating for each element. Then we can write certain functions expand input comma i comma i and expand
and otherwise we simply return what we got substring low comma low plus max length now we can have a function expand it will be actually care so by the way if you are new to the video please do like like the video please share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel i will give you uh lead code solutions every day and i will also explain you the approach every day so now let's come to the code again so i am writing this expand function which we have created uh, so in this what we do we try to move on the both side of the array uh, both side of the element center element and uh, we will return the low in this we will actually set the low in this like we take a uh, count take a pointer j take a pointer k check if uh, j and k is equal characters at j and k is equal then we expand it more so j is moved more left and k is moved more right so in this way we first set the j and the k then if we check max length is less than k no then oh sorry this will be actually outside this so here what we have to do we simply will store the max length equal to k minus j plus otherwise low equal to j plus 1 and uh, we have to move this actually out so you can see it is sample test cases are running fine so the solution is accepted you can take the screenshot of the solution if you want if we talk about the time complexity then it is n square because we are expanding around each character once leading to a quadratic time complexity and the space complexity we are using is actually o of 1 so this is my solution for today's pal longest palindromic substring so please do like the video if if you liked it and if you understood it please do write understood in the comment section and your any feedbacks are uh, always welcome please do subscribe to the channel share it with your friends thank you for watching the video have a nice day